Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father. My God, my God, is the one and only true living God. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of Moses. And my God is the God of Israel. And my God, my God, set his, set his children free from captivity out of bondage in Egypt with a heavy, heavy hand. And my God parted the Red Sea for his children to cross on dry land. And my God, my God, fed his children manna from heaven for 40 years in the desert. And my God is God, and there is no other the God of Israel. My God, our God, will take care of his children today because he loves his children today ever bit as much as he loved his children in the, in the desert. And if it comes down to it, he will part the Red Sea again and he will feed his children manna from heaven if that's what it takes. Because my God will do all his pleasure. My God is God. There is no other. My God spoke the whole universe into existence with words, with words, with words. My God, all, awesome, awesome, awesome power. Can do anything, can do everything except lie or fail. And that's the God that, that I love. That's the God that I worship. That's the God I adore. That's the God I obey. I obey. That's the God of my mother. That's the God. I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name I pray. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. And I am God's dirt. I want to tell you, about a dream that I had two nights ago. I had a very special dream. This is Chloe, our minx kitty. She doesn't have a tail. <laughs> but I had this dream. This will be a very short video. My mother has come to me in my dreams. Never saw her, only heard a voice. The two times before, she spoke my name. She spoke one word, Tony. But the tone, somehow you just know. You, you can just tell in the tone of the voice. And the it was the tone the other two times that she spoke my name in, in, my, in a dream. It was kind of like a, a wake up. It was like, wake up, Tony, with emphasis on the word Tony. Kind of like, you know, wake up. But then the dream I had two nights ago, and I had, I was taking a nap, it was midday. And I had just fallen asleep. I hadn't been asleep 15 minutes like that. When all of a sudden I heard my mother speak my name a third time. But this time it was different. This time it, it wasn't a wake up call. It was a come here call. She said it lovingly. I think we're going home soon. As much as I love my mother, I love my God more. And I especially love my God that, that I, I heard these three messages from my mother. It was only a dream. But I think it was a dream from God. God can do anything, remember. God will do all his pleasure. I think we're going home soon. I think we're going home soon. Just
just look at the world, listen to the news, what they're doing. They're, they're doing away with our cash, putting all of our money on a, like a debit card or something like that. They're going to make cash illegal. And that's, that's the beginning of the B system. It's kind of how it starts. Getting this world ready. They're getting this world ready for the Antichrist. For his appearing. But before, before the Antichrist comes on the scene, we get raptured out of here. The faithful, we get, we get taken out of harm's way. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9. For we are not appointed to God's wrath. For salvation through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So the faithful, Jesus will come for his faithful. Jesus will come and take the young children, the babies, babies in the womb. He will take them. And then he will take his faithful. Those that read and follow his word in the King James Bible. This is the living word of God. And we are to follow it. Not pick and choose what we like and what we don't like. Not turn a blind eye to certain scriptures that warn us of something that's uncomfortable to us. We are not to change God for us. We are to change for God. Remember that. Jesus is coming back soon. Take his faithful home. And I want to be, I want to be numbered as one of the faithful. And I want to be raptured out of here so desperately, man. More than most people because I have seen the tribulation. I know what's coming. Unspeakable horror. Unspeakable horror. Billions billions of demons will be released upon the earth making people do unspeakable things unspeakable things unbelievable horror destruction it's all coming into tribulation and the only way the only way to avoid it is to get right with God right now make Jesus into your heart repent of your sin sincerely humbly Repent of your sin. Now is the time. Now is the time to get your house in order. Because we don't have much time left. We don't have much time left. If you just look at the news, it just screams. It just screams rapture so soon. Get ready. It's coming. And we keep all of you in our prayers. We pray that you be faithful, and that you be counted worthy to escape what's coming. Because I've seen it. It's going to be bad. And I, I weep. I weep for the lost. And these videos that I've made is to try to warn the lost as to what's coming. To tell them how they can avoid going through the tribulation and all its horrors. I was commanded to do this. And that's what I'm trying to do. So beg Jesus into your heart to give you a new heart, to lead you and guide you, protect you every day that you have left on this earth. Because Jesus is coming back very, very soon. Very soon, very soon. That eastern sky is going to rip wide open and roll up like a giant scroll. And there will be a shout from an archangel. And there will be a trumpet blast to God. The dead in Christ will rise first. The graves will burst open. And they will rise up to meet Jesus in the air. And then, then, we who are left and accounted worthy to escape what's coming. Faithful to Jesus Christ and his word. We will be raptured out of here. We will be spared the horror to come. God bless you. God keep every one of you. Every one of you has been a blessing to me and Bobby. Every single one of you. And we pray for all of you. We even pray for the ones that we don't know your names. 
we pray for you. And we pray for all of those that have requested prayer, for healing, for faith, for protection, for uplifting. We pray for all of you. God bless you. God keep you in his loving arms, just like he healed me.